hello, hi, and welcome, welcome for another How It Works ASMR. This time the topic is the types of light bulbs and their technology. Well, there are several types of light bulbs and each of them has distinct characteristics, uses and benefits. And here are the nine mind types and with their technology. Let's start and discover how they work. First, we're gonna start with the classic one, the incandescent light bulb. Incandescent light bulbs. Well, this is, as we are all knowing, the classic one. But how it works? It's producing light by heating the filament. The filament is heated until it glows. Well, this can, this will occur instantly in a matter of milliseconds. Right, and this is the classic light bulb. Well, there are some pros and cons. The pros, it's the cheapest, so the inexpensive, the classic light bulb, it's the most inexpensive one. It produces warm light and it has a good color rendering. This is the pros, the cons, it's the if inefficiency, well, compared to the other, it's consuming more power and it has a shorter lifespan and uh, generates more heat than others that we're gonna study the classic light bulb so cons its lifespan heat and consumption. Right, let's move next to the next one. Well, here we have the halogen, halogen bulbs. These two types, halogen bulbs. Well, halogen bulbs, this is type of incandescent bulb, so it's someone, somehow, related to the incandescent bulb but it has a gas inside the bulb yeah to increase efficiency and lifespan so it has a gas right well what are the pros between uh, what are the pros in the halogen, it produces bright light, bright light. It's more efficient than its incandescent bulb and has a better color rendering. The cons, it's that it's still generating, so cons still generating heat. It's more expensive than the, than the classic incandescent bulb and has a shorter lifespan than others. But in all, halogen is better than the classic incandescent bulb. Next, the next one, <coughs> it's a more advanced, uh, 
its more advanced bulb. It's called compact fluorescent lamps or CVLs. How they work? Well, these ones uses again a gas, but also a phosphorescent coating to produce light and phosphorescent coating to produce light. So it's somehow a halogen bulb more developed or advanced. The pros, it is more energy efficient than the halogen bulbs. It has a longer lifespan and has a cooler light. The problem is in the cons. Well, the compact fluorescent lamps uses contains mercury, which is a dangerous metal if it's injured it's very toxic and that's why this ones requires careful disposal well another cons is that has slower startup times and not always dimmable the compact fluorescent lamps some of them in most countries, they are used only in certain areas, not for homemade use, because they are, like I said, containing mercury or metals. So they are some quite dangerous if they are not handled properly. Good. Next. We have the light emitting diodes or short LED. LED. Well, what is with the LED? This one is using semiconductors. These semiconductors to produce lights. Well, a semiconductor, it dims light when the current the, it's passing through. So, it's a very cheap technology. In terms of pros, they are very energy efficient, so energy efficient it has a long rice span and it's available in different types of colors and temperatures it produces only little heat well in terms of cons it's higher cost compared to the others and the light quality can vary good these were this was the LED LED light emitting the old small well the next one is the fluorescent tube fluorescent tubes. Well, many of us, we have seen this in many public places. These are long tubes that use mercury vapor to produce light. So, it's HG vapor for light. HG, 
HG it's the symbol for Mercury in atomic period all right well so this use some sort of vapors mercury vapors to produce light the pros they are very efficient and long lasting long lasting good for commercial and industrial use that's why most of them are used in the uh, industrial environments the cons is that they are containing mercury like the CFLs and they require ballast and they can flicker so cons they are containing mercury and they can flicker good and it's limited in color temperatures mostly they are white due to the hg uh, the mercury vapor lights good next The next is the high intensity discharge heat bulbs. Well, this is a lamp with that uses a heat bulb as a light source. Well, high density discharge, high heat bulbs, what they are containing inside here inside there is a metal halide and high pressure sodium and mercury vapor mercury vapor combined and it's producing light by passing electricity through a gas a gas well there are some pros they are very bright that's why they are used as lamps very bright so we can see very bright efficient for large areas and have long lifespan long life span good but there are some cons it will take some time to warm up and they are more expensive and they are requiring special fixtures well that's why they are using it to the light that they're enlightening they're lighting the buildings in the night for example or the landmarks these are the sort of lamps that use the HID bulbs right good next we have the small bulbs smart bulbs well what are the smart bulbs like the term sounds very trendy Yes, there are bulbs that can be controlled from a remote device, for example, a telephone or a special remote device. Well, in terms of how they work, the smart bulbs are LEDs, so they are light emitting diodes. They are LEDs with added functionality such as remote control color change and integration with the smart devices and at the base there are LEDs inside right. these are the smart
there are some pros. It's customizable and can save energy. But the cons are expensive and requires a compatibility a compatible smart home system or app. The smart bulb. Next, neon, neon bulbs or tubes. In this case, these are neon tubes. But we gonna we gonna encounter also neon bulbs in our daily life. Well, neon bulbs. They are using neon gas to produce light, often used for signage. So, neon gas. Well, what are the pros and the cons? They are very bright, and they have a distinctive color, and they are good for advertising. And the cons are they are limited to specific application and they can be very fragile and also can be expensive to maintain the neon bulbs or the neon lines or neon tubes well most of the advertising made uh, when it's in light it's using neon bulbs or small one we're gonna talk it's the xenon bulbs xenon bulbs well this one uses xenon gas to produce bright white or blue light commonly used in the automotive area and they are very good because they are long lasting so the pros they have a very bright light and long long lifespan but the cons is that are more expensive and they can produce clear cones. Produce clear. Well, and now these were all the nine types of technology used for the light bulbs. The light bulbs. Well, uh, after this session, after this session with this topic, uh, I hope many of us we have been enriched with new information and useful information related to these types of technologies used in the light bulbs. And many, maybe next time we're gonna use this shared information in choosing the best light system that fits our